Hello all, welcome back. So let's do some more simple stuff on GNOME 40 on your base Arch Linux installation to make it like uh, a bit more usable. This is like uh, for improving your user experience if you want. Most probably you are going to use your terminal much like terminal more and your browser all those things so you can open up your settings and go to keyboard and if you go down you can click see this customize shortcuts if you open that up you have options to like create custom shortcuts so if you want you can create like for example if i want to run d menu i can specify the command d menu run and i can set the shortcut i just have to press the keys on the keyboard after that the shortcut will be created and you can hit add i'm not going to do that so i have created shortcuts for firefox rofi so rofi is uh, something like this so it's like a launcher so you can use this to search for any app in your system like uh, for example if i search firefox i can easily access firefox i just need to hit enter and it will open up if you hit escape it's going to close so in order for you to install rofi you can do like sudo pacman dash s rofi so it's going to ask you for the password and it's going to download and install it's a little small package then the next thing is we are going to use an AU helper when you are using arch linux you can get like a lot of packages from arch user repository but like if you don't have access to like uh, some packages are not there in the main repo so you can get them from AUR so I'm going to switch my workspace to this one and I'm going to open up this inside the Firefox you can see I have searched for Arch Linux Pamac dash AUR I will post this link in the video description you can co basically you can copy this link and use uh, a git clone followed by the command and you can hit enter so this is going to download you can cd to the mac aur then you can like do an ls to see the packages over there and if you want to install pamac you can do make package dash si and hit enter it's going to build pamac and install for you so i'm not going to do that because i have already installed that you go to your menu this is pamac add or remove software so here you can like pretty much see your installed applications you can see orphaned applications like uh, orphaned applications are like packages you don't need dependencies that are not required anymore for you to use so you can remove all and hit apply so that will save you some space it will help to keep your system like minimal so the more minimal and cleaner your system is the less chance of having a plethora of vulnerabilities inside your system so by doing so you are also improving your system security so you can remove like uh, unwanted dependencies or orphans over here then here inside the search if you want some package you can search like uh, if you want to install pipe or something like that you can search if you want like inkscape you can get that over here so click this and hit apply so it will ask you for the password for the first time and it's going to download and install the package for you you can do that so the best thing about Pemac is you can go to these three dots click that go to preferences click on third party and enable AUR support this will give you access to arch user repository the main thing about AUR is loads of packages from AUR like for example if you don't have uh, some package available in your system like for example burp suit burp suit is not available in arch repos 
so you can install that from AUA here you can see that it's from AUA if you click that you can see the details of the package you can see the dependencies required for the package and you can see the build files and you can click build over here or you can go back and click this one and you can hit apply so it's going to download the application you have selected for you sometimes like uh, some proprietary drivers and all like amd gpu pro so if you need amd gpu pro all these things it's going to be available on aua so you can download that from there apart from using Pemac, you can use a terminal based aua helper like paru so you can install that similarly all you have to do is you need first you need the base development packages so sudo pacman dash s base dash devil so this will install the base development packages so that will give you access to make and all the things you need and you can basically use the same what we did for pamac you can clone this then after the cloning is complete you can go to cd and paru and you can do a make I'm sorry make package dash sci so this will install paru for you the glimmer screen so if you hit if you just type paru it's going to synchronize your like your core extra and community repos arch standard repos and it's going to search aua for update so for installing something from aua you can use paru dash capital s it's same like pacman you can use paru capital s and you can specify something like burp suit but if you don't know like the exact name of the package you can do a ss so it's going to search aur and give you the results and do something like md gpu something like that and it's going to like give you suggestions like all these packages are there available in aua so you can pick one package like this and you can basically use paru dashes in front of that to use that so it's going to download the dependencies and install and it's going to ask you it's going to give you a prompt to confirm and you get the idea and the next thing is lib input so if you are having like if you are experiencing some issues with your touchpad or if you want something like uh, if you want your touchpad to have tap to click function you don't need to use the graphical user interface settings actually you can do that from lib input so the main thing you have to do is you have to create a symbolic link first for that you can use this command like acd to slash user slash followed by x11 followed by xorg.conf.d if you do an ls you can see you have this 40 libinput.conf so basically what we are doing is we are linking this file to slash hc slash x11 slash xorg.conf.d so if you run that com this command you are going to have you do an ls after that you are going to have the same file over here you need to you have uh, super user privileges to make configuration changes inside so you need to have uh, either be a root user or you need to use sudo and if you go down you can see all these things so you can see the lib input touchpad catch all inside this section you can specify like options so the options you can specify are available over here if you see like if you need tap to click on you can use this option so either you can copy this and you can paste that over here and if you save and exit right now and reboot your touchpad will use like uh, tap to click there are multiple options like if you need a scroll based on your edge you can use this you can specify another option so if you scroll on the edge of your touchpad it's going to give you a scroll effect for your window like you can scroll then the next thing you have to do is for your gestures to work you need to install a package package name is you can use your helper 
if you are comfortable with paru you can use paru or you can use pamac whichever you prefer dash is you can use libinput dash gestures thing that's the package name i'm not sure actually yeah that's a package name so you can hit enter actually i have the git version already installed so if i do that it's going to replace that so i'm not going to do anything with that i'm going to exit out of that so you can install and basically it will give you access to features like gesture navigation in your system and you can specify like more options the next thing is if you are having a numpad on your laptop you can basically like enable your num lock on boot and on tty also you can activate if you're having a num lock on your keyboard you can activate num lock on the boot so there are multiple ways of doing this so if you are on a window manager you can enable that by performing installation like uh, numlock x and add that to your xinit rc dot xinit rc it's going to like start with your xinit rc you can do like sudo pacman s s numlock x numlock x so it's going to download that and the next thing is after downloading that you can like uh, you have an x in it rc dot x in you have an x in it rc in the end of the file you can add numlock x over here so that will help you with that it's going to execute numlock after you execute statx so the next thing is for the people who are using a graphical user interface you can use it as a system d file so basically you have to create this file we are going to use our text editor so do vim slash user local bin numlock we are going there and you have to enter these lines so this is available in the wiki so if you want you can copy that and paste then you can like uh, you need to give executable permission for the file so chmod plus x space you can specify the file path so it will make the file executable then you have to create a systemd service for that we are going to create this one so sudo vim again slash hc systemd system numlock.service so here we have to add these lines so it is also available in the wiki so th what with this, what this will do is like this will enable your numlock if you're having a numlock on like number pad on your keyboard it's going to enable that like by running the file which we have created before you can save and exit to do systemctl enable numlock.service if you do that it's going to basically enable the numlock service so your numlock will be turned on when you boot your system we are going to do a bit of customization because this is gnome 40 we can actually install gnome tweaks so sudo pacman dash s gnome dash tweaks you can do that and it's going to download and install that for you i have already downloaded that and if you have installed pamac like me we are going to open up rofi and we are going to search for a mac manager and we are going to open that so if you search for gtk themes it's going to give us like uh, all the themes available so you can download and install your preferred theme over here and if you search for like icon themes you are going to get icon themes i have installed fabrice then you can see like cursor if you search for cursor theme you are going to get like cursor themes if you want like mac cursor themes you can install this or you can install something else after that you can close the mac and you can open up your gnome tweaks it will be available over here inside utilities so if you open up gnome tweaks you can go to appearance you can change your theme something like arc dark i can choose that instead of advaita oh, okay that's a custom theme instead of this one i can use my icons and all those things so 
it's going to give you like a more personal feel to your system so that's it for today i hope this one was helpful